Hi, everybody. I'm Philip Ilyescu, and I help our Unity developers be successful with our platform partners. Now, I'm super excited to be here to share this update on Metal within Unity. As John mentioned earlier, mobile graphics are top priority for Unity. So we're pushing really hard to bring you the best mobile graphics engine in the world. Now, at WWDC this last year, we showed this demo of Metal Tessellation running with compute and native metal shaders. Today, I'm going to show you a new demo and talk a little bit about how we're planning to roll all these features out. I'll just pop over to the demo machine here. And all right. So, so starting in Unity 5.5, we've upgraded our shader cross compiler which um, opens the door for many advanced graphics features and instancing in native metal shaders. Uh, so here we have uh, this demo running. And you can see with instancing, uh, not enabled, it's running at about uh, you know, two or three frames per second. It's running very slow. But the minute we turn on instancing, we'll see the performance dramatically increase. Now, instancing is the case where you're running many similar uh, game objects with only a single draw call. So essentially, what we have here is about 12,000 asteroids. You know, it's, uh, you know, we've, we've, we've sped it up to about 30 frames per second. And um, for those of you, not familiar with instancing. Basically, we're rendering a lot more objects here. And each, each asteroid is animating independently with its own color variation. And they receive and cast shadows on each other. Notice that this would not be possible with just batching the asteroids together. Now, I have just one more thing to share with you here. So I'm going to switch over to the Mac. OK. Here we are in a preview build of Unity. And notice, it's running Metal. So that means that you can get instant feedback on anything that you might be doing before you deploy to device. So real quick, instancing is very easy to enable. You can simply enable, uh, you know, change, some, uh, change the shader on the game object that you want to enable. Uh, you know, one line of code in the shader. Very simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit play and just show you some of the things that uh, you can do here. Very simply, you know, you can sort of adjust the number of asteroids and see that instantaneously. And you can pop over to the camera. You know, there's a lot of things you can do and just get immediate feedback before you actually deploy the device. I think it's going to be a huge win for people and just really save a lot of time. You know, we're really excited to launch this more complete workflow for Metal, where you can immediately see your modifications to, the compute, to your compute shaders, post effects, native Metal shaders, or any game experience targeting any Metal device. To get early access to these features, make sure you join our beta groups and forums and watch for announcements. So let's switch back to slides for just one second. I wanted to bring up this, uh, this timeline here to show you sort of how we're planning on rolling these features out in Unity. In 5.5, we've upgraded our shader cross compiler, which basically opened up the door for instancing and native metal shaders. And it also opened up the door for compute in Unity 5.6. Later in 2017, we'll bring you Tessellation and the editor as well. But that's the, that's the timeline. That's what, that's what we have to look forward to. So yes, please join our better groups and uh, keep, keep apprised of announcements. Thank you very much. Philip.